everyone welcome back to the channel of ecoholics so today here again i'm bringing you a video on the solution of dsc pyq 2021 question number 47 so let's get to the question okay this is a question from probability the question reads an urn contains two blue balls and 10 red balls red balls are numbered 1 2 3 till 10 blue balls are not numbered the balls are randomly drawn from the urn and returned until a blue ball is obtained. At which point the experiment stops. Find the probability that ball number 9 is drawn at least once. So what they are saying is that in an urn you have 10 balls which are red and they have been numbered. Like you have put numbers on each and every red ball. After that you have two balls which are blue in color but you haven't put a number on them. So in your experiment, what you're doing is you're picking up a ball. If the ball is red, you put it back and you take the another ball out. So you do this experiment till the point you don't get blue ball. So as soon as you pick out one ball and it's blue in color, you will stop doing the experiment. You're not going to move further. So our objective is to find the probability that the ball number nine, the ball number nine is going to be a red ball, of course is drawn at least once. So we have to find the probability that we have at least once we have picked out the red ball where number nine was being mentioned. We have to find the probability of this thing. So let us see. Before that, have a look at the options. So they all are numeric. It means you have to solve the questions. All right, so I've written the basic information which our question was providing. So our question was saying that we have red balls until a blue ball is going to be drawn. So I have taken n to be the number of red balls which you are going to draw to get one blue ball. Then n is going to follow geometric distribution. What happens in geometric distribution? To have one success, you have number of failures, right? So in geometric, whatever is the number of failures, we add one to it to get our trial. Because if you have, let's say, picked out 10 red balls, before you get the 1. So 10 are your number of failures and the 11th ball is your success. Here also we want just one success. We don't want multiple blue balls. We just want one ball. As soon as one blue ball is going to come out, we are going to stop the experiment. So it means we are going, we are working with a geometric distribution. So in geometric distribution, what is the probability? Now how many balls do we have? We have 12 balls. 10 red plus 2 blue. Out of that, what is my success? Success is getting a blue ball. So two balls out of 12 balls. So it means success is going to be 2 by 12, which comes out to be 1 by 6. So the probability of success in my geometric is 1 by 6. So I have written that here. Now, next to this, x, now we are not just done here yet. X is going to be the number of times the red ball number 9 is drawn because the ultimate focus is on drawing that number 9 ball where 9 number is written on the red ball. So I'm taking X to be that because it can be taken once, it can be taken out once, it can be taken out twice, it can be taken out thrice also or maybe more than that till you get just one blue ball. So I don't know. I want to find the probability of drawing it at least one. So when I say at least one, whenever any probability question asks you for at least one, you have to find the probability of x greater than or equal to one. So over here, I want to find the probability of x being greater than or equal to one. So there is this best way of finding the probability x greater than or equal to one. So whenever you're dealing with such situations where you have to find that, the simple trick is just from the total probability, subtract the probabilities which are lesser than that. Since you are working with x greater than or equal to 1, there is just one probability which is going to be less than that, which is the probability where x is going to be equal to 0. So to find the probability x greater than or equal to 1, this is my required condition according to the question. It's going to be 1 minus probability x equals to 0. This is the required thing. Now, all right, but x getting x greater than or equal to 1 is not simple, simple because there are other conditions also happening in the question, right? 
so we are going to use another formula here. now we were saying that x is not independent it is conditioned on the event of n because when you are finding the number of times you are going to draw nine number ball there is a condition which is working behind that is red number of balls you are drawing to just get one blue ball so when we are talking about x it is conditioned on the on the event n so because x is conditioned on the event n so it is going to follow binomial distribution because it is fulfilling the characteristics of a binomial with n number of trials because i don't know how many times i'm going to draw balls till i get just one blue ball and the probability of success here is 1 by 10 why it is 1 by 10 because out of all the 10 red balls i have i just need one ball which has number 9 on it so success is just getting that one nine number ball so 1 by 10 is my success rate over here so i can use the law of total probability now further to find my answer over here so by the law of total probability if i want to find probability of x equals to 0 it is going to be equal to summation n starts from 0 goes till infinity and probability of n equals to small n why because n is the number of red balls you are going to get one blue and of course as soon as blue is going to come i'm going to stop so i want to count the number of red ball number nine before that so that is the thing condition on the fact probability x equals to zero given n equals to n so this is my required thing which i want to find because the x is not independent of n i want my number nine ball to get drawn before i get my blue ball all right so because here we were following the geometric distribution and here we are following the binomial one so by law of total probability i'm going to find the probability of these two events over here now when i say the probability of n equals to n i know it was following the geometric distribution the n was following geometric distribution so in geometric distribu distribution what we do is probability of success raised to power 1 because i just want one success but probability of failure the number of times i want to get failures so i don't know the number of failures over here so i'm not going to put the value of n over here i cannot put the value of n because i don't know how many times i'm going to pick the ball so when i come to this thing probability of x equals to 0 given n is equal to n it means i just don't want any ball any red ball which has number 9 on it because i'm going to when i'm going to subtract this probability from 1 i will be getting my required so i don't want the 9 number ball now this time so 9 number ball is just one so out of all the 10 red balls i want 9 balls but i don't want that one ball which has number 9 written on it so it means my probability over here is going to be 9 by 10 raised to power n again right so this is how we are going to proceed so now to solve this summation i know if i i can first solve this together so let us solve it 1 by 6 when i solve it 5 cancel out 10 with 2 left here and this cancel out with 3 2 left here and 3 so 3 by 4 raised to power n now what is this this is the gp geometric progression so i can use the sum formula of gp here infinite because i don't know the value of n so if i try to do that three by four n what's the formula for gp it's a upon one minus r so a because n was starting here from zero and going till infinity so at the first term when n takes value zero three by four raised to power zero is going to be one so a is going to be one and the common difference will be 3 by 4. So 1 minus 3 by 4 is going to be 1 by 4. Because this is the formula for your infinite GP. The sum of infinite GP. So 1 upon 1 by 4 comes out to be 4. So this is going to be the sum for this term over here. Now 1 by 6 is a constant. It doesn't going to have any sum. Whatever value n might take it is independent of it. So what I am going to have here is. I'm going to have 1 by 6 into 4 because the summation of this thing is 4. 
so the final thing is 2 by 3 so now i know the probability of x equals to 0 is 2 by 3 so probability of x greater than equal to 1 is going to be 1 minus this probability which is going to be 1 by 3 which is my answer over here so let us see let us see which option is giving me that so it's the option number D which says 1 by 3. So option number D, 1 by 3 is my correct answer for this question. All right. So this was the solution to question number 47, DSCPYQ 2021. If you want more solutions, please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Also in the comment section, please tell us more topics on which you want videos from us or the other PYQ solutions you want. Thank you.